A lot of people come here and really say like how nice it is and how they're happy to have found this place because I think Maastricht really misses a lot places like this. Zeg maar een plek die leeg zou zijn uh, wordt gebruikt voor cultuur, politieke doelstellingen en ja leren van elkaar en kunst en en ik ik geloof daar persoonlijk in en ik denk dat dat belangrijk is en uh, ook dat dat er in Maastricht uh, niet veel plekken zijn die zeg maar echt open zijn voor ideeën en voor studenten. So like it's really uh, open for everybody, but of course like we have a system to structure it, because we don't want an anarchy. We really want things. Because we also want to create a place that uh, could be sustainable. So even if now like the um, uh, board members like uh, leave, uh, that somebody else could take over uh, the job and then use the structures uh, which is already here. Um, on top of that, all our decisions that we make are based on uh, consensus. So if anybody is against any proposal, then it won't happen. Or at least we will uh, continue talking about it until everybody agrees, or at least until everybody doesn't have an objection for something to happen. Also because we think it is very important that everybody continues to feel uh, that they are part of it and not that the majority would rule over them or something like that. Um, I think the non-profitness of this place is uh, one of the most powerful points as it was our idea of beginning like to create an alternative uh, place which is not based on money or on personal profit or anything. And we just want to try and experiment to see if it's possible to create something also culturally valuable and politically valuable um, and also just sometimes fun that is not necessarily driven by money and to also kind of uh, show that it is possible to create something without money that there's, that people also have other motivations to do things and not only because they want to earn a lot of money with it but that really also students just do things because they really want to or because they're passionate about it or because they want to share something with other students Het verschil tussen de free school bijvoorbeeld en een, een lectie op de universiteit is dat op de universiteit is het heel duidelijk wie les geeft en wie zeg maar daar komt om um, ja, ideeën te ontvangen en terwijl hier is het veel dynamischer. Er is, het is geen niet zo duidelijke wie, wie is de leraar, wie is de leerling. Maar het is, uh, soms ben je de leerling, soms ben je de leraar en, en het, is, het is altijd een open discussie ook. Dus we proberen dingen ook interactief te maken. Dat het niet iets is waar je gewoon passief zit, luistert en dan naar huis gaat. Maar dat je ook je ideeën erover kwijt kunt en dat je er met elkaar in discussie over kunt gaan. En dat is ook het belangrijke, dat verschillende ideeën en verschillende meningen ja, ook naar voren kunnen komen. En dat is denk ik op de universiteit, wat natuurlijk een ander doeleinde heeft, is dat, is dat minder. Eat it up, wash it down, it's a beautiful morning. We're getting ready and moving out, there's some things I still need. to provide an alternative to the to how things are organized maybe if you want to call it mainstream i think especially now that there are like globally so many crises going on you have the economic crisis environmental crisis also political crisis i think it is very important that we start experimenting with other ways of organizing ourselves 
and that we don't depend to show also that we don't depend on big corporate funding to organize a, a, a festival or a project or a concert or a presentation. Um, uh, after I'm not sure we have like the recognition from the Gemente, like if they really see like how we are, but I really do think we're important and that the city really needs uh, places like this.